Hey traders, Gavin McMaster here from Options Trading IQ with another video collaboration with Bar Chart. Today we're going to be looking at implied volatility indexes. Just a quick reminder that everything discussed is for educational purposes only, is general in nature and does not take into account your personal circumstances. So implied volatility is a hugely important concept for beginner option traders. We could spend all day talking about volatility, but for today we'll focus on implied volatility. In this video, you'll learn what implied volatility is, why it matters, and how you can incorporate it into your trading. You'll also learn how to use Bar Chart Excel to find and analyze implied volatility. So what is implied volatility? Implied volatility, sometimes just called IV for short, is a measure used in options trading that reflects the market's expectations for future volatility of the underlying asset. Essentially, it indicates how much the market thinks the asset's price will fluctuate over a specific period. Higher implied volatility suggests that the market anticipates significant price swings, while lower implied volatility indicates expectations of relatively stable prices. Unlike historical volatility, which looks at past price movements, implied volatility is forward-looking and is derived from the price of options in the market. This makes it a crucial concept for option traders when making decisions about which strategies to employ. When it comes to the price of an option, when implied volatility rises, option prices will rise. Likewise, when implied volatility falls, option prices fall. This assumes no other changes in any other parameters, such as movement in the share price, interest rates, and no passage of time. Therefore, it stands to reason that buyers of options, those that are long either calls or puts, will benefit from increased volatility and sellers will benefit from decreased volatility. Vega measures an option sensitivity to changes in implied volatility. Specifically, Vega quantifies the amount by which an option's price is expected to change with a 1% change in IV with all else being equal. For example, if an option has a Vega of 0.25, its price is expected to increase by 25 cents for each 1% rise in implied volatility. Higher Vega indicates greater sensitivity to changes in implied volatility. Now that you understand a bit about implied volatility, let's look at how we can view and analyze IV in Bar Chart Excel. So within Bar Chart Excel, we'll come over here to our Bar Chart ribbon and we'll select volatility. And we'll just take a look at SPY to start with. Double click to bring that over. And we're just gonna look at this main one, implied volatility indexes. And to start with, I'll just leave everything as the default and we'll see how that looks. Basically, we're looking at the 30-day IV. We're going to have the option volume uh, plotted as well, and we're using our Delta 50. So now we've got our data. We can expand this chart a little bit, and we can see implied volatility here in orange. We can see that throughout the last couple of years, it's been ranging from about 10 all the way up to about 30. So when we're looking at this, we can say when volatility is really low down in the, the tens and the low teens, that could be a good time to be long volatility or have positive vega via things like long straddles or strangles. And when volatility is really high up around 30, we might want to look at strategies such as iron condors, credit spreads, and anything that is negative vega or is going to benefit from a drop in implied volatility. Let's change a few settings now and we'll take a look at other things that we can do with this information. Um, I prefer to take the volume off uh, just to make the chart a little bit cleaner. So we'll do that firstly. You can see there, that's just to gives us a little bit of a cleaner look at IV. We've gotten rid of our option volume now. Um, there's a little bit less noise on the chart. Um, so that's a really nice thing that we can do to start with. Next, I'm going to use a different delta. So rather than looking at the 50 delta, which is the at the money options, I'm going to use, say, uh, a 15 delta, which is one of my favorite uh, deltas to start an option trade like a credit spread uh, and even iron condors as well. And we can see the historical IV of the 15 deltas. You can see we're getting some slight differences here. Those 15 deltas actually got up as high as 35%, whereas the 50 deltas were only getting at about as high as about 30 Another thing we can do is add in the historic volatility. So we can compare the implied volatility with the historical volatility, basically what the stock did in the past. Uh, again, we'll take that off. I'll leave it at the 50 delta for now. And here we're seeing 
the IV mapped against the historical volatility in blue. So we can see at the moment the volatility is very, very low because the S&P 500 really hasn't been moving around much at all in the last month or so. Now, if we're more interested in long-term options, we might prefer to look at a different time period. So rather than looking at the 30-day IV, we might want to look at 150-day IV and see how that looks. So now we've got the 30-day IV mapped against the 50, 150-day IV. And we can see with the 150-day IV, it probably doesn't bounce around quite as much. The moves aren't quite as extreme as in the shorter term time frame. But we're still getting uh, periods where, we say we get up into the mid-20s, that seems to be a high volatility level for that 150-day volatility, whereas the 30-day IV is getting up to sort of 30, 31. So again, all information that you can use to structure your option trades. Another thing we can do rather than just looking at a standard 30-day IV is we can actually look at the IV for specific expiration periods. So let's say I want to take the next monthly expiration, which is July 19th, and I want to see how the implied volatility of that expiration has moved over time. I can use the 50 delta, or again, I can switch my delta up to say a 15 delta and we can see how that implied volatility has moved over the last few months so that 15 delta july expiration options they've moved from about a 10 and a half 11 delta sorry 10 and a half uh, 11 iv up to about a 17 percent iv and currently sitting around uh, 14 percent so again when you see a big spike in the implied volatility here, that might be a good time to sell some of that volatility, those 15 delta puts, for example. Let's do the same for Apple. And we can actually plot a couple of different ones at the same time. If we want, we could plot uh, the July and August options and we'll do our 15 delta. And we can compare how those are moving relative to each other over time. So we might use that information and say this period here, the August expiration volatility was a lot lower than the July expiration. So that could be a good time to look at, say, a calendar spread where we're selling the higher short-term volatility and we're buying the longer-term lower implied volatility. So lots of great things you can do here with Bar Chart Excel. So in conclusion, understanding implied volatility is extremely important when trading options. From the basics of IV to more advanced analysis, Bar Chart Excel can give you all the information you need to succeed. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.